All right, so we have Joe here, and Joe was kind enough to let me use him as an example. I wanted to use Joe because every now and then you get somebody who really just so clearly demonstrates a particular movement issue. So we're going to let Joe go here a couple times on its own, on his own, sorry. And I slowed the video down a little bit. As Joe goes here, we're going to be really focusing on that left in the video, but his right shoulder there, okay? Good. All right, so we're going to pause that. And now we're going to add a tracer here. We're going to add a bone to Joe. We're going to follow that. And notice what's going on with that bone there, that humerus here, particularly that humeral head. Now we got the, let's draw that a little better. Got our humerus here, and we got our humeral head. We're really following this right here. Okay. I'm gonna start coming down. And watch what happens as Joe comes back here. That guy starts gliding up a bit on him. And we're going to really notice this on the last rep that Joe does here. Coming on up. And we glide quite a bit there. Look at that. Come on back down. And that thing is shooting on up on him. Okay. Or ideally now. A little shading here, so green is for good, right? Ideally there, that humerus, it stays pretty much perpendicular to his torso. Now we got our torso, right? That stays pretty much straight on out there. Might move a little bit, but for the most part, it's pretty much straight. That humerus isn't going up or down. It's staying nice and snug there, right? We can tell with Joe. All right, red is for bad, right? We can tell with Joe that's not quite happening. You can see this. Look at this guy poking up there. And then he's okay on the way down for the most part. I mean, his elbow's drifting down on him, which isn't great. But this guy's staying fairly snug. But on the way up, see a little bit of poke in there. And we'll really see it on that last rep here, which is usually what you see with people. The more reps they do, the more apparent their dysfunction comes into play. And here we go. Look at that guy poking up, 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 up there. So one more time, coming on up. All right. And we'll go, just to give you a little different color scheme, just to really emphasize this. Green is what we want. Gray is what's actually happening. So Joe and I will be working on this quite a bit there. It's no surprise, Joe has some shoulder issues. He actually has them on both sides. I'll just show his other side real quickly here. I might make another video of this in the future. But just in case you saw it on the initial run through on his other side here, Joe's actually quite good coming up, so we call external rotation. Looks pretty solid there, right? You can tell this is pretty high. That's fairly good there. But watch what happens as. Joe comes down, we'll see this little, almost looks like a knot, starts poking forward, right, right there. So, let go again here. On the way up, he's got superior glide on one side, and on the way down, he's got anterior glide on the other side. We'll be working on both, but I really wanted to depict the superior there. Alrighty, hope you got something out of that.